Excuse me, am I interrupting something? I mean, looking at this painting, do you think it shows a love encounter? Or just a friendly instance? What? Okay, maybe you are surprised. After all, where are the elements that indicate some kind of affectionate scene here? Doesn't it just seem like the man is just watching the young woman play and sing? It looks quite innocent. I mean, in fact, it's even a bit bland. Seriously speaking guys, where is the emotion in this painting? Okay, let's look into it. The Music Lesson, a painting by Johannes Vermeer, draws attention first of all by its composition. The way in which Vermeer uses perspective reinforcement draws the eye to the bottom of the painting where two figures stand. In the scene, there is a young woman singing and playing virginal, while an elegant man watches and listens attentively. Both seem calm and in tune with the music that's filling the room, probably an equally subdued melody. See how intriguing when looking at the background, other things draw the viewer's attention, even before the two people. The corner of the table, the chair, and the bass violin seem to be purposely more in evidence, as if the artist is trying to protect the privacy of this couple and does not want you to look directly at them. A couple? Really? I don't know yet. I need to analyze better. Natural light enters through the window on the left, filling the room and casting subtle, soft shadows. The same light fades softly as it stretches to the opposite side of its source. There's also a subtlety in how the colors are adjusted according to the type of light falling on them. For example, the rear window is painted ochre, but the adjacent window is blue. The textures Vermeer uses here help give the scene more vividness. Look at the brass pins on the chairs. They've been painted so thick that they seem to protrude from the plane of the surface. Surface. Something outstanding in the composition of this painting, without a doubt, is the mirror on the wall above the virginal. There, you can see some extra details in the picture, such as the blurred reflection of the young woman, a part of the table, and the legs of a painter's easel. Wait a minute, why does the easel only appear in the reflection of the mirror and not in the painting? The answer is simply brilliant. You can include, of course, that the painter is Vermeer himself. From one perspective, he's there in that environment, together with a young woman and the man. But just like you and me, he's also a spectator, so he's not really there. This small implication of Vermeer's presence in the painting itself is also indicative of another element of the composition of the music lesson, exclusion. Vermeer excludes himself from the work itself and also partially excludes some elements in the background of the room. What message might he have wanted to convey by this? What do you think? Oh, look, there's something written on the cap of the virginal. It's a phrase, meaning music is a companion in pleasure and a bomb in sorrow. Could this be a small hint of the relationship between the man and the woman in the painting? Probably, but what does this relationship look like? Is it recent? Has it not yet been consolidated? There's no way to know for sure, but there are other characteristics to look at that may give greater clarity. To begin with, a historical fact. Dutch painters of the 17th century often depicted in their paintings the relationship between music and love. Here in the scene, there are two musical instruments, the virginal and the bass violin. The juxtaposition between them alludes, in a metaphor, to harmony between two souls who love each other. Moreover, the expression on the man's face denotes contentment in hearing the young woman sing and play. These facts thus imply harmoniously shared pleasures. The sound of the instruments with the young woman's voice resonates with each other and together, implying that even though they exist separately, they can also coexist harmoniously. Notice also the wall in the background, on the right-hand side. It is the image of Roman Charity by Dirk von Baburen, a famous painting that helps to further reinforce the idea that the main aspect of the music lesson could indeed be about love. But maybe it's not romantic love, or maybe a controversial love of some sort. You see, the Roman charity portrays the imprisoned Simon being breastfed by his daughter Pero, the symbol of Christian charity in its physical and spiritual form. But we only see Simon in the shackles. Is this a metaphor to indicate that the man in the music lesson is also chained? Not in the physical sense with shackles, but by the music played or by the woman? The curious thing is that Vermeer's mother-in-law, Maria Viss, had this painting and Vermeer had already used other works by von Baburin in other paintings of his. It was definitely a common source of inspiration for him. 
In the music lesson, Vermeer does the best he knows how to do as a painter of interior environments. He carefully selected the few objects that would appear in the scene. He was even known for having good notions of geometry in his works. The music lesson shows this very well, where his compositional elements seem to have been carefully calculated. Equally careful is the way he has portrayed the interaction between the two people in the scene, which helps contribute to the soft atmosphere of the painting. By the time Vermeer painted the music lesson, he was already an expert in certain techniques. He learned to handle the elitist and technical components to enhance his paintings. Linear perspective was one of the main techniques that the Dutch painter mastered, organizing the composition to create an illusion of spatial depth. Linear perspective is excellent for creating a catch. With this technique, the artist tricks the viewer into believing that the scene in the painting is a real scene. Vermeer managed to apply it very deftly here, don't you agree? In many of his works, Vermeer uses perspective beyond depth. It is through this technique that he liked to convey the messages of his works. For example, in the music lesson, the painter makes the orthogonal of the perspectival system converge on the heart of the image. Who? The standing man. Vermeer also applies his talent with shading in this work. In the music lesson, the window's shadow is projected downward toward the tiled floor and is interrupted slightly by the left corner of the virginal. From this result, diagonal lines unite the two sides of the composition, the right side with its accumulation of objects and the empty left side. This also creates a contrast between the two sides. Why would he be showing such a difference? After a recent analysis, it has been found that Vermeer made some adjustments to the painting. He was really very meticulous and concerned about the precision of his work. Let's take a look at them one by one. Do you see the jar on the table? Originally, the neck was thinner. The virginal? The shape was adjusted to improve the composition. Notice how his lid is a little wider on the right side of the girl. This change in alignment, i.e. prevents the two sides from becoming equal and also prevents the girl from being the element that connects the two sides. Other important adjustments have been made to the two figures in the painting. Originally, the man was a little closer to the girl and her head was turned more towards him. By modifying these points, Vermeer made their bond more relaxed and also allowed himself more freedom to work on the other compositions in the painting. The music lesson has had quite a trajectory. In 1669, it was acquired at a distance auction and later, in 1718, it was bought by the Venetian artist Giovanni Antonio Pellegrini. Later, Pellegrini's art collection was bought by Joseph Smith, British consul in the Republic of Venice, who was also a patron of artists. He was also a collector, connoisseur, banker, and an important part of the British Grand Tour. Then in 1762, King George III bought Smith's The Music Lesson and the painting entered the royal collection of Great Britain. However, it was because of this purchase that the painting was mistakenly recognized as being by an artist other than Vermeer. The Music Lesson also has another name and was known for a long time as Lady at the Virginal with a Gentleman, a work by Franz von Maris the Elder. What? The mistake was mainly due to the misreading of Vermeer's signature, I.V. Mir. The correct name was only attributed in 1866 and thus credited to Johannes Vermeer again. Looking at it this way, it is even curious to think that this painting would not be a Vermeer. After all, all his famous techniques are present here, especially his trademark, everyday scenes from domestic life. It is a genuine Vermeer, sir. Vermeer did not make many paintings during his lifetime, only 34 in total. They have no dates, so they were difficult to date in chronological order. Scholars have only been able to speculate the years by interpreting the styles and intricacies of the compositions in each painting. The music lesson, for example, is speculated to have been painted in the 1660s, more specifically between the years 62 and 64. Anyway, whatever kind of relationship Vermeer wanted to show with the music lesson, it seems to be too personal a subject for us to get into. Who knows? What was your impression? Did you feel like an intruder seeing a very intimate moment or just a contemplator of a trivial moment? A little of both might be the most appropriate answer. We better sneak out before they realize we were here watching the whole thing. Did you enjoy discovering more of this work by Johannes Vermeer? Would you like to discover more paintings like this? Then don't forget to leave your like in the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications for the next ones. See you next time!